<laughs> hey, hey, knock it off. So today we're doing a quick video on adjusting the idle mixture on our 87 VW Cabriolet. I did a cold start video on this a couple months ago and I've had to do some work on it. It sits at our beach house so it doesn't get run much. But eventually I'll get back on the road and be a kid's car. So I had some fuel injection problems which turned out to be ignition problems but I got all that straightened out but in the meanwhile I had messed with the mixture so now I need to reset and I'll show you how to do that real quick. I actually went to Bosch school to work on these things like 22 years ago, right when they were becoming obsolete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the idle mixture. We have a, a dwell meter. The duty cycle needs to be 50%, but with a dwell meter, you set it in angle. So we'll put it on four cylinder and we wanna get about 45 degrees. 45 plus or minus seven or 50% duty cycle. The way a dwell meter works. 45 degrees on a four cylinder cycle will be half on half off if that makes sense so there's a little connector over here it has a white and a blue wire and a ground wire the white and blue wire is your signal the brown wire is just a ground we have my cheap harbor freight automotive meter set set on four cylinder dwell it's not, it's 90, 90 degrees right now because it's not running. As soon as we start it, you'll see it move. I've already warmed it up. So we'll start it and that's the value we'll adjust to is looking at the meter. The way it's adjusted is over here at the fuel distributor there's an Allen head down through there. It takes a three millimeter wrench and that's factory sealed so that plug, I've never seen one that was still intact but there's an anti-tamper plug you drill out and put a screw in and pull it out and then you have access to that Allen and you can turn that fulcrum and that adjusts the plunger in the air door in the fuel distributor. So start up and see where we are. I've already warmed this car up by the way. This has really old gas in it, so it probably doesn't run the best because of that. So now, we can turn. It's like I'm going the wrong way. So it seemed to smooth right out right there. That average is out to be 45. 45 degrees, 50% duty cycle. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the frequency valve is right here on the side of the fuel distributor and it's buzzing. And that's what's actually changing the mixture. If you want to do a quick check on the oxygen sensor, you can leave that ground in there. And the big green wire down here, this is a pretty old car, so it's not even heated. Go to DC volts.
now we're on DC volts. Our ground is still hooked up. And on the wire going to the O2 sensor, we should be reading between zero and one volt back and forth. It should constantly go back and forth between zero and one volt as it adjusts the mixture, which it's doing. So I believe we're in good shape. And that all is thanks for watching and subscribing. We'll see you next time.